be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about like which instruments you should use when creating your beat. So like, should you choose to lay down your drums first or your melody first? Me personally, I think you should start with a melody. So let's say for instance, if you're laying down like a trap beat, uh, I would start with a simple melody, maybe start with a piano. Um, it's a good, good way to get it going. So we'll just go to piano and just start with like a basic um, piano pattern. So we'll do something like that. I'll speed this up. And then I find that like layering, you know what I'm saying, is a good, solid technique to building your melodies up. So what layering is going to do, basically, we'll just take this same pattern and just double it and put a different instrument sound on it. So I'll just push Command D, hold down Option, drag this down. And we could either do one or two things. You can just up this like an octave by pushing shift option up or I'm just gonna push this one more time put that down do you can or you can go in here and change the uh, actual sound to make something completely different find that you know when you're creating a melody it's a whole lot easier for you to start building the beat at least you know especially if you're a beginner um, from here you could just literally start adding drums in put some hi-hats kick and y'all can see it's really a simple beat here but just to demonstrate what I'm talking about y'all I will always start with the melody first and then go to the drums. All right. I didn't want to get too far into this. This is a simple concept, but um, I had a question that was asked like, yo, what, what should I lay down? Um, when it comes to the melody, you want to just really think about the genre of music that you're making. If you're making an R&B, just think about the sounds that are in an R&B song. You know, what I mean, piano, um, a bass, sometimes guitar, you feel me? Um, so start with like an acoustic guitar. So you want to maybe thinking about putting those three elements in there. So start with a piano, then add like a bass line, add a guitar over it, then go to your drums. If it's trap, you know what I mean? You might want to start with like a piano, uh, you know, obviously an 808 that can also simultaneously be used as a bass. Um, and then maybe like a lead sound or a bell or something like that. So those three elements and keep things simple. Um, same thing with the drums, you know, it's going to be based on the genre that you're using, um, the, what type of drum sound, but it's all going to be relatively the same for the most part. So make sure y'all keep that, that, that stuff in mind. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button. Also appreciate y'all coming to the channel on a consistent basis, watching all the videos and everything like that. Make sure you go ahead and go through the channel and see what we got going on on here 
got a lot of videos and if you want some stuff that's exclusive that not everybody has access to you're definitely going to want to go to my website beatmakingbasics.com on my website right now we got a beat making master bundle that comes with all the courses all the kits and all the templates on my site and it's uh, on a discount right now so you can get everything in a bundle price by clicking on the link below or just going beatmakingbasics.com all right um, if you have any questions or any more suggestions for videos, let me know and I will see you in the next video. We're out.